Again, Carly, we are just seeing very hot and dry conditions. These wildfires popping up everywhere. Absolutely. And another factor that has to do with this, of course, is the weather. When we have very dry conditions out there, that obviously helps with the fuel for the fire, helps it burn quickly. But now we're dealing with a lot of strong winds, especially in that area. Strong winds and wind gusts near the surface. And then topography is going to pay, play a huge part in the movement of this fire. We know that that area has a lot of ridges and crests, as well as a lot of that elevation uh, difference that happens there making fires move rapidly uphill and of course we are keeping an eye on that fire and what could happen with that and now we are seeing that you could play a part in potential wildfires so of course make sure you are mowing and weeding and anything that has to do with equipment before 10 a.m before the heat of the day make sure you're doing it when it is not windy never use lawnmowers on dry grass and of course never pull over your vehicle on dry grass i know sometimes we have the propensity to do that especially if you're on the side of the roadway and you need to pull over try to find an area that's maybe just gravel all right we're tracking some of the winds it may not look very windy here in sonora but for some of these areas we are seeing some of the strongest gusts of course having to do with elevation in the gilmore backyard a very nice evening especially as we've been dealing with triple digit heat now we're in those mid to low 90s for sacramento triple digits in marysville we'll talk more about the heat coming up